work to a place that she didn't know it's easy. Gone. Mediterranean water, my reason. Now I'm talking about. Oh, say does that star spangle banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? That was a stirring performance of our national anthem. With that concluded, we'll be right back in just a moment. Welcome everyone, here it is at long last. It's the start of the NBA regular season. I know everyone's just as excited as we are here on 2K Sports to get things underway. I'm Brian Anderson, here with Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Thank you, Brian. Jimmy Butler has a single-minded focus. He said, I don't need an MVP. I don't care about anybody's opinion. No trophy means anything except for the Larry O'Brien. I want to be a champion. I mean that. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win. I don't doubt him, Allie. Thanks very much. And a chance now to take a look at the schedule for the Indiana Pacers. On Wednesday, they'll go up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And then on Friday, they'll be facing Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. So a look at our starters for the Heat. Manning the backcourt, it's Lowry and Robinson. At the forward slots, Butler and Tucker. And it's Adebayo in at the five. And for Indiana, Warren and Sabonis, the duo at forward. Brogdon and Lavert make up the backcourt. And it's Turner in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Nothing more exciting than opening day in the NBA. Grant, how pumped are these players right now? Oh, they are so pumped indeed. I mean, look, the offseason can be a long one. But every player loves when the games really start to count. Now here's Levert. Pass to Brogdon. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Robinson. Robinson against Levert. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Robinson. Levert. That's good. And obviously their goal right now is to feed him the ball and get him going. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. Now here's Lowry. Here's Adebayo. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Back to Brogdon. Into the lane. Up and over Lowry. And it's Brogdon missing. Can't fault the play call. Even though he could convert, that's a good shot. Butler passes to Lowry. Good. And Butler gets the assist. That's what you want to do. Work the ball to one of your premier scorers like Kyle Lowry and let him make a play. Jimmy Butler, one of the great two-way wings we have. Some call him the most complete wing. Hard to argue with the defense he plays. Now here's Sabonis. Levert outside. Fires from the corner. Miami grabs the miss. And with Butler in his defense, he is a menace. Brings intensity and energy every game. Also add the versatility with who he can guard. Always a threat to come up with a steal. He's an elite defender. Nice shot by Turner. Beautiful location on the pass as usual. Led his man perfectly. Lowry outside. Butler against Warren. 
the drive by Butler. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Now that's an energetic drive to the rim by Jimmy Butler. Shooting speed and strength. Jimmy Butler at the line for two. First one falls for him. He's not like a lot of superstars. Jimmy Butler will call you out if you're on his team. All he wants to do is win. So he hits one of two from the strike. He wanted to get his team to lead, and even though he didn't, he should feel good. At least he tied it up. Brogdon finds the vert. Stolen by Lowry. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Lowry. Lowry's got five now. You know, whether he's running the fast break or finishing it, Kyle Lowry is a handful in the open court. Sabonis with a screen on Lowry. And it's Brogdon missing. The Heat with the lead. Pass to Robinson. The three is up. And a great assist by Duncan Butler Robinson. as that one goes. Four great three. floor awareness there by Jimmy Butler. Sensing one of his guys is open and gets it to him. Brogdon, the pass to Warren. Sabonis outside. Over Tucker. The Pacers again can't hit. Miami's gone two for two from deep to start this one. Down low. Butler Jimmy with Butler. the bucket. You he love is. how fearless Kyle Butler Lowry. can be. Charging through contact to get his shot. Brogdon, the pass to Warren. Sabonis with a screen on Butler. Warren with the ball. He's against Tucker. Here's Sabonis. An easy two on the layup. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Get on your feet and make some noise. It's teacher time. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on to give up for your face made. Look who's coming out of the court. Come on to get loud for your face made. So Indiana ends up going with a new group. So Miami going with an almost entire new group here. Deadman's checked in for Bam out of bio. Akpala comes in for Tucker. Hero, he's checked in for Robinson. And Victor Oladipo is subbed in for Lowry. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. McConnell against Oladipo. Pass to Akpala. Six on the shot clock. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Spins. Hero. 
They get the rebound. Butler can't get it to go. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Miami foul. KZ Akpala. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Oladipo, six to shoot. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Brissett's shot is good. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. The Heat have gone four of eight and looking in control. Outside Butler. Back to Oladipo. Got a piece of it. Three on three. Back to McConnell. 102 left in the first quarter. This one for three. Here's Craig. That one's good. This game is all even. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Now here's Hero. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And the shot's good. Off the pick, Hero loves to rise and fire, but that time, he becomes the playmaker. McConnell against Oladipo. On the wing, Holiday. Fires the three. Sends it home from three-point land. Way to rise to the occasion and snatch back the momentum. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Now here's Oladipo. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Holiday against Butler. To the middle. And here's McConnell. And he's going for the oop here. Throw it down on the line. Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish, that was angry. And that concludes a back-and-forth, high-scoring first quarter of play. The Pacers out in front. They're up by three. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. Fans. Well, the Miami Heat, not all lottery picks are blue chip prospects, but you ask all star Jimmy Butler, and he likes what they have. We got a team full of guys that can score, a team full of guys that can defend, can get everybody else involved. Um, it's, a, it's a nice team, man. We're playing well. Grant, you never want to write them off. <laughs> and when your team is made up of overachievers, they've got plenty of experience proving doubters wrong. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. They've gotten a lot of high-quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. Another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the ball and piling up the assist. Brogdon and Lavert make up the backcourt. Sabonis and Turner work together inside. And it's Warren in at the three, the small forward. That's the five for the Pacers. Outside Tucker. Pass to Adebayo. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. his first personal foul. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. A powerful athlete who's still developing his skills. Adebayo has become a threat at the offensive end. You have to be impressed by Bam Adebayo's playmaking. B.A., he has great vision for a big man, and he helps this team as another initiator. The first free throw is good. And Coach Steve Kerr of the Warriors, he said Adebayo reminds him of Draymond Green. You know the reason why, B.A., they both are elite ball handlers at the four position. 
They both anchored the defense on their team. Bam out of Biles definitely on his way. He's off on the second. Bam Adebayo has been fairly solid from the line throughout his career. Levert goes against Hero. Brogdon, the pass to Sabonis. And the shot goes in. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Brogdon. Lowry against Brogdon. Pass to Adebayo. Over Turner. Again, out of bio, missing. Right idea, but just too much heat on him defensively, even with the fadeaway. Levert finds Brogdon. Sabonis with a screen on out of bio. Now Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Now here's Lowry. He's got five. Hero, no good. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Outside Brogdon. And stolen by Adebayo. Brogdon against Lowry. And he's going for the lob. And again, the heat missing. Indiana leading. Boy, the offense has been on point. <laughs> they have great timing and great communication. So hard to get stops against them. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Lowry with it. Turner covering. And it's Lowry penetrating. Shoots over Turner. Oh, and Turner with a block. A ferocious shot blocker. Turner provides a sense of security to the rest of his teammates. Four on the clock. Tucker with a screen. And again, the heat missing. For Indiana, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Offensive rebound. Lavert, that's good. And now it's a 10-point pacer lead. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to Tucker. Back to Hero. Shot to stop the run. He drops it from range. Hero's gotten himself on the board with a three there. As a Rookie of the Year award winner yourself, Grant, what do you see as the biggest challenge facing today's rookie? I honestly think with all the information and expectations, the hardest thing for young players today is meeting those expectations. Because of all the great rookies who've come before and gone on and had success right away, that pressure a lot of times can be a lot for a young player entering the league. Here's Robinson following the bucket by the Pacers. It up top. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. To the paint. Here's Warren. Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. Brogdon's got four assists now tonight. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Miami calls timeout. And they were the odds-on favorite in this matchup last year, but actually lost the season series. Who wants a t-shirt? Make some noise! All right, look who's coming out of the corner. Come on to get loud for your face maze.
is here for the Pacers. Craig is checked in for Warren. Lamb comes in for Levert. And it's McConnell in for Brogdon. So Miami going with an almost entire new group here. Deadman's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Butler comes in for Tucker. Akpala, he's checked in for Robinson. And Victor Oladipo is subbed in for Hero. Oladipo outside. Pass to Butler. Here's Deadman. Turner covers. Butler against Sabonis. It's rebounded by Sabonis. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Craig. Fires for three. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. To the inside. Butler passes to Lowry. A minute 42 left to play in the half. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Pacers. A capable score from all three levels. But what's really unique about Kyle Lowry is his physicality near the rim. He bullies defenders. Indiana on offense. They're on a 12-3 run. Pass to Turner. Oladipo against Lamb. McConnell outside. Clock at six. Over Butler. And the shot falls short that time. And something Lowry's always had, great strength. You know what? He helps set a physical tone for the team. KZ That's what you expect from your seven-footer, not your six-footer. McConnell against Lowry. Pass to Sabonis. Back to McConnell. It's a bonus with a screen on Lowry. Out to Craig. Let's go with a three. The Pacers again can't hit. Miami's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Heat foul. Jimmy Butler. Some changes for Indiana. Brissett comes in for Sabonis. And Holiday subbed in for Lamb. O'Shea Brissett. Justin Holiday. For Indiana, they've gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Outside Holiday. Pass to McConnell. Turner, a screen on Lowry. Here's McConnell. And it's blocked by Deadman. The 7 4 wingspan of Deadman. Hard to get your shot over that. McConnell against Butler. Here's Lowry. Outside for Butler. Beyond the arc. Oh, no good on the last the second the attempt there. And so it's the Indiana Pacers. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Well, I'm here with Coach Rick Carlisle. A hot start. Coach, what did you like about this team's execution offensively? Uh, we were making some shots. Uh, we moved the ball well at times. We've got to be careful about having the ball stick when they're doing their switching. Good luck with the ball movement in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. Kenny, what games did you get amped up for during the regular season? Any team that Shaq was on because I know we cook them and I could go down that lane and dunk on them three or four times in one game. Uh, Kenny, wake up your dreaming. Stop it. You know I squat your shot. Roll all the way back to Queens. Stop it. All right, now let's get into our game. It ended up being a strong first half for the Pacers. They're getting into the lane whenever they want, getting some high percentage looks. I don't see the coaching staff switching up too much. Keep it simple. Force your opponent to adapt to you. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And we 
hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Devonis Sabonis with a strong contribution so far in this one. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Miami trailing. Setting the floor for the Heat. On the wing, Robinson and Butler. Inside, it's Adebayo with Tucker playing the four. And it's Lowry in at the point guard position. Now here's Robinson. From outside the arc, Pacers with a rebound. Sabonis has got rebound number seven tonight. Here's LeVert. Adebayo grabs the board. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Butler passes to Lowry. Back to Butler. For three, Robinson. The shot no good. So Indiana will take it the other way. When this one's over, they'll be off to Charlotte as they take on the Hornets. It'll be the front end of a two-game road trip. Brockton against Lowry. Sabonis, left side, five on the clock. Back to Brogdon. The three. And it's Miami with a rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Levert goes against Robinson. Here's Turner. Second chance shot. And there's a nice layup by Sabonis. Sabonis has got ten. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Throws it up high. Nice catch and finish on the lob. Smart playmaking by Kyle. Moving the ball to a guy with a good look. Pass to Brogdon. Sabonis with a screen on Lowry. Brogdon, the pass to Sabonis. Adebayo grabs the board. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Back to Butler. Brockton against Lowry. That one falls. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. The Pacers have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Brockton against Lowry. Outside Brogdon. Pass to Sabonis. The shot that time, not on target. The Heat go the other way with it. And known for his fashion sense as well. Tucker especially proud of his shoe collection. I mean, Tucker brought 100 pairs of sneakers to the bubble in Orlando. He has around 5,000 pairs overall. Even unveiled a sneaker loft because he has shoes all over his house. Adebayo, a screen on Warren. Butler. Oh, stolen by Turner. Pass to Brogdon. Over Tucker. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Pacers lead by nine. The effort, the position, the timing. All there. And add instincts to that. He can sense where the rebound's going to go. Now here's Butler. He's got five. Shoots over Sabonis. The shot by Butler. No good. For Indiana, they've gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Warren, shot is good. And now an 11-point pacer lead. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they've stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. The loudest and craziest fans give a free t-shirt. Let's hear it, fans. Fans, your face made.
fans, your base mate. Substitution here for Miami. Dedman's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Akpala comes in for Tucker. Hero, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. And Oladipo is subbed in for Lowry. to Apollo. Now here's Oladipo. Dead in a screen. Lock it four. The floater. The shot by Oladipo. No good. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Oladipo against McConnell. Here's Duarte. Launches a three. Akpala grabs the board and keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Historically, a few franchises have gobbled up most of the NBA championships. A significant number of teams have never won a title, though. However, we're in an interesting time. A lot of those franchises are looking for their first title. They're among the top teams now. And guys, they're hoping to get on the board. Oh, yes. Very interesting, Allie. Thanks for that. Here's Duarte. He takes it in. Bam Adebayo's checked in for Miami. Heat substitution. Bam Adebayo. Miami has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Hero with it. Shot from 12. Here's Adebayo, and that one's good with extra effort on the glass. This is what they count on Bam for, ensuring the play gets finished. Here's Duarte. He's guarded by Hero. McConnell against Oladipo. Now here's Holiday. Inside. Corte shot is good. And the Pacers lead by 11. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Deadman. And here's Oladipo. Back to Hero. Here's Deadman. Here's Hero. Robinson passes to Oladipo. And the three off target. McConnell back to Holiday. Pass to Craig. Here's Duarte over Hero. No good from the wing. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. It's the Pacers. They're up by 11. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. Come on, fans. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. On the wing, Levert and Warren. Sabonis and Turner work together inside. And it's Brogdon in at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Now Lowry. Pass to Tucker. Let's it go from 11. That one's wide left. 
The Pacers shooting the ball at 46% for the floor. Back to Brogdon. Turner, a screen on Lowry. Lowry against Brogdon. Turner, a screen on Oladipo. The shot by Levert, no good. Well, Miami shooting just around 32% from the field. Lowry outside. Butler against Levert. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Indiana? They've gotten a lot of second chance points because of the work they've put in on the glass. It's really helped them. Another thing, they haven't missed a beat on the fast break in either half tonight. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Outside Brogdon. Picked by Sabonis. Down low. Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. And the Pacers lead by 10. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. And he lays in the alley oop pass. Drawing so much attention, Oladipo rotates the ball to the open man. For Indiana, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Outside Warren. Pass to Turner. Now here's Brogdon. Sabonis with a screen on Lowry. Just five on the clock. Brogdon. Second shot opportunity. Outside for Levert. No good from outside. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. It's good. Sabonis has got four points this quarter. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Butler's shot is good. An incredibly determined player. Butler is very hard to stop. Jimmy plays the game with passion. Sabonis with a screen on Butler. Outside Warren. Back to Brogdon. It's Levert on the wing. He's guarded by Oladipo. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet they continue to lead. Outside Butler. Adebayo a screen on Sabonis. Here's Butler. Adebayo, no good. Indiana's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Brogdon. There's the drive. Knocked loose. Butler with a steal. Oladipo, the pass to Lowry. Brockton against Butler. And he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. I love it. Got the basketball used to pick. A high percentage shot for Jimmy Butler off pick and roll plays. Outside Brockton. Up top Turner. Pass to Laverne. Sabonis with a screen on Oladipo. Levert. That one off the back iron and out. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And this rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Now here's Oladipo. Oh, and Turner with a block. Well, that's out of bounds. <laughs> Miami will keep it. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Greg is checked in for Warren. Robinson, he's checked in for Miami.
Shot clock at six. Butler against Craig. The shot by Butler. No good. The Pacers have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Here's LeVert. And close on the shot, even with the foul. Now two free throws. That's his first personal foul. So tough first to negate LeVert's wingspan when he's in attack mode. It's one of his deadliest Four characteristics. Kevis LeVert. Two shots. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. For Miami, they've got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Out to Lowry. Takes a three. And Craig pulls it down. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Brogdon, the pass to Sabonis. To the middle. And here's Brogdon. Levert outside from deep three-point range and they recover it and once again off the mark by Indiana and the heat with possession so far in the fourth they've allowed just six points wow Kyle Lowry has nice balance on his jump shot and he was square to the basket we've got 33 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter Here's Brogdon. And the step back jumper is good. And the Pacers lead by eight. Gotta love how they've just maintained their intensity, even when they're this far up. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Levert goes against Robinson. Levert with the ball. So it's Indiana winning this one. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And that'll do it for this inaugural game of the NBA season. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. Last but not least, here is your new balance player of the game, Damana Sabonis. I'm a brand new and I feel like a boss